thought I was about to drop my camera and I freaked out. It is Sunday. We went to church this morning and now we are fixing to head to Bible study in a little bit. I watched the last like three minutes maybe of the Preds game while I made her a PB&J sandwich. So she's eating that because she didn't want to eat her chicken tenders and fries for some reason. We got Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse clubhouse on the TV. The Preds won the game. So that's great. And I just filmed a video unboxing some Amazon things and Target finds and um, the stuff that we bought when we went shopping the other day. So we did that. And yeah, that's basically what we're doing today. And I'm going to see if this fits Mr. Milo. And then um, I'm probably not going to try the sweater on him yet because he's dirty but this ain't gonna hurt anything i don't think i don't know maybe i'll wait on that too because he's getting groomed on thursday so he's gonna get him a nice little little trim and a little bath so i'm excited about that for him and i have a i have a doctor's appointment thursday so not as excited about that but i kind of am in a way because i i just need to do it and get it done kind of thing you know so that's what we're doing. It's just a checkup, so nothing crazy, nothing serious, just a checkup. I'm going to figure out what I want to put on my letter board that I got. I'm excited about it. Shh, Daddy's taking his Sunday nap. You're being too loud. Eat your PB and J. She keeps singing happy birthday every time I pull out the camera. I guess it's because we did that birthday party for the baby doll and we said happy birthday. I really don't know. I don't know. But that's what's going on today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. Don't know when you'll see this vlog, but you know, we're here. We out here. Living life. And that's us. And that's us. Mm hmm. Good job. She wanted to brush her hair. I like she wanted to brush her hair. All right. So I got a caramel. Oh, it's leaking. I got a caramel iced coffee with extra cream from McDonald's. I meant to just get a medium. I ordered a medium, but they gave me a large. So, wow, these cups are not the greatest. Um, that's really good. I like the caramel, which I didn't get extra cream when I got the French vanilla iced coffee, but that's really good. Sweet found a good uh, McDonald's order. You can see all the caramel in the bottom though. That's kind of unfortunate. So I'm going to try to mix it up as good as I can, but we're going to eat lunch. So let's do it. So I just got home from work and Paisley fell asleep in the car and I brought her in the house. There she is. I'm going to turn on Mickey Mouse because she didn't take a nap today, but she doesn't need a nap right now because it's after six o'clock. So I'm going to try to get her woken up. I'm gonna turn on Mickey Mouse and see what happens. She's currently still back there sleeping. So let's see what happens when we turn on Mickey. Milo's concerned. He's like, why is she not awake? Let's see what happens, Milo. You think she'll wake up? We shall see. Nothing. Paisley. She's like dead asleep, so I don't know what I should do. I guess force her to wake up. Because I was planning on putting her to bed at 8, which is only like an hour and a half from now. So, we'll see. Update, she woke up. She's very cranky, but we've got supper in the microwave and on the stove. I'm doing black eyed peas, popcorn chicken, and mac and cheese. So, here is supper tonight. We got salmon again with paprika and garlic powder. And then veggies. This is just the stir fry mix with 
garlic powder and I put chili powder on it this time because I've never done that so I wanted to try it out. So we'll see how it tastes. So I'll do a little taste test for you. I put a lot of chili powder. That's really good. It's really good. And then the salmon, I didn't measure the uh, seasonings like I did last time, so I think I may have put a little bit too much garlic powder on this time, but it's still okay. Uh, but the veggies are really good, so yay! is up I'm not having the best of mornings because I have a doctor's appointment this morning and I was doing great and thought I was doing great and I went the total wrong way got turned around had to use the GPS and I am almost 15 minutes late to my appointment I call it to check in because of COVID you have to check in like that but I'm so aggravated with myself because I second-guessed myself when I was like should I go that way and I was like no I think I should go this way and I should have went the first way <laughs> this is why I need to drive by myself more often than just ride with my parents because I'm 26 years old yeah 26 so I should be able to like handle this on my own. I don't know why I second guess myself. I've been this way so many times. I'm so frustrated with myself. I'm so mad. But hopefully I don't like get any kind of charge for being late to my appointment. I think because of COVID they're probably being gracious with people. But I'm very aggravated with myself. So I'm going to put my sunglasses on and act like I'm really cool. And I'm not late to my appointment. It's just a checkup today um, with my OB. Um... And I've got the next one on implant, so I'm going to talk to her about getting that removed because we've been talking about baby number two. So, no, clearly, because I have the implant, the birth control implant, there's no bun in the oven, you guys. Um, but we just want to stop preventing not getting pregnant. Did that even make sense? I just want to get this removed so that for one my monthly cycle can be normal and then um, we can just live our life and try for baby number two I thought about tracking it and all that stuff but I'm not gonna do that because that puts more stress on me and I would rather not put more stress on me than like need be it'll happen in God's timing so that's just what we're gonna do because I can't control time anyways it's all about his timing and so it'll happen when it needs to happen but I am kind of excited to talk to her about getting this removed today because my cycles have not been normal um, so I'm probably not gonna get the next one on implant again um, I did like it at first it was a little itchy like at times that's kind of went away I don't feel like I've even realize it's there anymore which it's been in since about six uh i think i got it in november or something no maybe december um of 2018 so it's been in for a pretty good bit and i'm just ready to get it out and hopefully get my monthly cycle back to normal um because my cycle's always been regular and it hasn't been. Like I went like four months without one. And that's kind of weird. I don't like that. And then last month I had three. And that's not fun. So <laughs> I'm just going to get this thing out. Hopefully make the appointment to do that. And then, you know. So now I'm just waiting for a phone call um, to go in to the doctor. And hopefully everything goes well. I'm sure it will. I don't have any concerns other than getting this thing out of my arm so we shall see but you know what? I'm not gonna even like stress about the fact that I was late and got lost because it's over with now I'm here I'm where I need to be I'm here safely thank goodness I just used more gas than I thought I was going to so that's great but anyways um, I'm going to get off here now but I'm just going to chill out while I wait for them to call me for my appointment and I do have a mask of course if anybody's wondering because that is required and I do wear a mask so my appointment went well and now I am getting me an iced coffee at Duncan pretty pumped about it placed them all order hope all goes well there um, 
been using my GPS quite a bit today because I'm not used to all these places. Yeah, I placed a mo mobile order for Megan Richardson. Thank you. Sweet. Thank you. I'm so pumped. You guys, like, I'm loving my coffee journey. I know I talk about it all the time, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's just fun to, like, try out new drinks and stuff. Um, so I'm excited. Which I pretty much got the same thing um, that I got the last time. Because I liked it. I thought about trying the French vanilla, but I... I just tend to go for caramel more. I don't know if it's because my dad uses caramel macchiato creamer and that's just what I go to. But, um, but yeah, so I'm doing that. And then, um, then I'm gonna go to Sam's Club, I think, first. So I'll pick up my coffee, go to Sam's Club. Then I need to go to TJ Maxx and Target and Best Buy. And then I'll be done. Then I have to go to work. So, um, it is currently 1028. So, well, actually 1026. The clock on our car is two minutes fast because normally we're running late for stuff. So, it's just better for us to act like we have, um, act like we're later than we actually are. So, it makes us get in, her in a hurry faster, I guess. I don't know. Um... But yeah, so I'm gonna go do that, and then, like I said, go to work. So hopefully, I'm hoping to be back before noon, so that I'm able to like, you know, work, you know. I've gotta go check with Best Buy and see if they can fix my phone. Um, I actually have a small piece of glass in my thumb from swiping on my phone to unlock it, or whatever I was doing. So, that's cool. Not really. Um, it's just probably so small that I'm not going to be able to get get it out with tweezers or anything like that. So, I'm just going to wait until it falls out of my finger, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I want to get... Um, I'm saying um a lot. I say um a lot. I'm sorry. I try... I, I'm going to make a point to try not to. But it's just part of my everyday... Uh, lingo I guess um see when I think I say um instead of just like trying to just go into the next thing you know what I mean or I'll say so I say so a lot too um there it is again what was I saying I went on that whole tangent about saying um and now I don't even know what I'm saying oh yeah best buy so I'm gonna see my husband said that they can fix your phone screen like within the same day that you take it in and I have Apple care through them so I'm gonna check and see if they can do that because um, that would be great so hopefully that can happen because you know um, I need my phone fixed I want to get a case to five case um, for it but I can't get that because my phone's a little bent, so I want to make sure that I'm, that they can fix my phone and that I don't need to get a new phone. Hopefully, I don't need to get a new phone. I really don't want to have to get a new phone. There's nothing wrong with the one I have besides it being a little bent and the screen being cracked. I mean, other than that, it's fine. So, hopefully, I can do, can, I can get it fixed. So... How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing alright. Megan? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. You, you too. with all my errands praise him and it is 11:48. so i'm gonna be back to work a little after 12 but it's fine um so i'm going to pick up lunch for everybody at work at chick-fil-a because that's like the place my dad is obsessed with chick-fil-a which i can't blame him chick-fil-a is awesome um so i'm gonna do that 
Um, I went to Sam's, got all the things I needed, and then I went to TJ Maxx and I found a pot to put one of my green plants in. Not my little Yoshi plant, but my other one. I don't have a name for him. So I got a pot for that because it's starting to get too big for the, um, let's do AC, it's kind of hot today. Um, it's getting too big for the pot that it's in, so I had to get a bigger pot for it so it can grow. Um, and it's a really cute pot. It was only $7.99, so I was like, sure. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it was cute, and I wanted to keep it. So I got that, and then I went to Target, and my sister went a Big Red. Could not find bottles of Big Red for some reason, but I found uh, cans. So I got me some Cokes, Cassie some Big Red, and then I got us some Reese Egg Miniatures because, you know, it's fixing to be Easter. They're only around during Easter. And then I went in Best Buy to check to see if I could get my phone screen fixed, and they told me that you have to make an appointment which I was not aware of but that's fine so I made an appointment for Sunday so I have an appointment to get my phone fixed on Sunday and then um, oh my gosh I may have to cancel that because there's so much yeah I don't know we'll have to just I'll have to think that out. I may have to cancel it and reschedule a different appointment but I really want to get my screen fixed because I don't want to get glass in my finger anymore because that's lame so hopefully I can get it fixed Sunday and try to work it out some way somehow. I'll be a busy little bee, but what else is new? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna try to do that if I can. So I'm just waiting on my mom to text me the lunch order so I can run and get that. And then I will be done. So we're headed back to work. I'm not wearing this at work. This is a Kalia shirt, by the way, if y'all were wondering. I got it for free from um, Dick Sporting Goods because I have the Dick Sporting Goods app. And whenever I get like 30 minutes of exercise in at a time or 10,000 steps, actually it's like 7,000, whatever three miles is, which is like 7,000 something. Um, every day they'll, they'll give me three points, I think, for getting my steps in. So I do that every day. Um, pretty much so I get those points and when you reach a certain number of points you get a $10 reward so I had a $10 reward this shirt was $9.97 on sale so it was free which is amazing and it's so soft and it makes me feel cute this is not Kalia um, but I am wearing I am wearing my leggings so have those on and I just I feel cute today you know and I only spent like like maybe five minutes on my hair today I was like I don't have time to hold each strand for 30 seconds so I held them for 10 instead because uh, I was running a little behind but it's fine you know we got to everywhere I needed to go today so yay um, there's the lunch order so I'm gonna go get that and go back to work or to work I haven't been to work yet so I'm gonna go to work after that yay mm -hmm. 